the fourth hypothetical assumption for the remedy of heteroscedasticity is use of log transformation log transformation often reduces the heteroscedasticity compared to the original model the log transformed model will look like this in which uh, log of y variable and log of x variable is uh, taken and uh, it uh, reduces the heteroscedasticity compared to the uh, compared to the simple model it is because log transformed model compresses the scale in which the variable are measured for example if we have a, a value of 80 taking the log reduces a ten fold difference between two values uh, compared to a two fold difference for example 80 is 10 times of uh, 8 uh, but log of 8 is equal to 4.328 which is the twice as large as taking the log of 8 is equal to 2.0794 uh, one should note that taking the log transformation the slope coefficient beta 2 will measure the elasticity of y with respect to x and the elasticity represents that the percentage change in y for the percentage change in x if we consider y as consumption and x as income then the beta 2 measures the income elasticity while in the original model or the model without any transformation or log transformation the beta 2 measures the rate of change uh, of mean consumption for a unit change in income uh, it is one of the main reasons that the log models are quite popular in, in empirical econometrics. Note that the log transformation is not applicable if uh, values of uh, x and y variables are either negative or zero. For all of the hypothetical assumptions that we have discussed for the remedy of heteroscedasticity and about the nature of heteroscedasticity, one should think about the nature of the sigma i square. There may be a problem of spurious correlation. Consider we have a model y i is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i plus u i. The y and x variable may not be may not have any correlation, but after transforming such as y over yi over xi is equal to beta 1 and 1 over xi plus beta 2. Now in this model, yi over xi and 1 over xi may often be correlated. Note that sigma i square is not directly known. We estimate it from one or more of the transformation. All of the testing procedure are valid only for large sample. Therefore, be careful in interpreting the result for small sample or finite sample. And uh, for model with more than one explanatory variable, one may not know in advance that which variable should be chosen for transformation of the data.